we are going to review the embedded assignment, which is to write a developmental biography of a fictional individual. And you'll do, you will do this over the course of the semester. Now, the whole purpose of this assignment is for, for you to demonstrate that you understand the issues present at a particular stage of life and that you have a grasp of how this stage affects the next stage. So when do you write that? It's in the next stage. So, um, for instance, if I am writing about infancy, um, I will need to refer back to say, you know, because this baby was um, born full term and was healthy in the womb, um, then this is happening now in the infancy stage. Or it could be that because this baby was born at 26 weeks of development, that in infancy there's been a delayed uh, development of, you know, physical development because, you know, this baby's playing catch up. So um, you, you want to draw connections between these, these life stages. So the first thing that you're going to turn in um, with the developmental biography is demographic characteristics. And your syllabus is going to clearly instruct you that you need to submit in a narrative form, uh, not a bullet list, demographic characteristics such as the gender of your person, uh, what socioeconomic status they are born into. You're describing the world into which this baby is, is going to be born. This is the demographic characteristics, and there are eight different characteristics that are listed in your syllabus that you need to address. Now, for this particular assignment, um, at the end of the semester, this is going to end up being one big long paper. We're starting with demographic characteristics. You will write a page and a half to two pages um, as per the instructions in your syllabus um, on demographic characteristics. Then the next thing you're going to write about is the prenatal stage. So together you are going to turn in demographic characteristics and the prenatal stage. Prenatal, what is happening while this baby is in the womb? Uh, what kind of prenatal care is the mother receiving? Um, it, w is she getting uh, proper nutrition? Um, is she taking any kind of drugs? Uh, or is there anything toxic in her environment? Um, what is her family like? Her family's reactions to the birth? What kind of delivery does she a actually have? Is, does she have a, a, a regular, like a vaginal birth? Or did she have a cesarean section? Uh, was it uh, an induced labor? Um, how was this child brought into the world? And were there any complications there? That's the prenatal. So you're going to turn in demographic data and prenatal data first. And you can see in your syllabus the schedule of, uh, of submission. So in week three of this course, the demographic characteristics and the prenatal characteristics will be due. Now we talked a bit in the um, syllabus introduction about the purpose of, for the embedded assignment, so I'm not going to go back into that again, but I do want to make sure that you um, understand some of the notes that we have here. You are to write in a narrative form, and, and when you get to the life stages, once the baby's born, beginning with infancy, Infancy, early childhood, middle childhood, adolescence, young, middle, and late adulthood. For those seven life stages, you need to write about their physical development, social development, cognitive development, and their spiritual development. All of those areas. And, so, and your syllabus gives you some clear indication of that. And so for each of those stages, you're going to be writing about a paragraph, paragraph and a half or so, until you have a page and a half to two pages of text per life stage. And actually you just um, add it to the previous document. So on the first, now this is just really short. There's only a paragraph or so under each of these. This is just a sample. So you have your demographic characteristics first and then your prenatal characteristics. And then the next time you submit, you're going to put infancy and early childhood. So every time you submit it, 
you're resubmitting with additional text. When you submit your demographic characteristics your, and your prenatal, you will receive feedback. When you submit every one, you're gonna receive feedback. When you get to, to the end of this assignment, the very last submission is young, middle, and late adulthood. That's when you receive your grade after you've submitted at the end. So let's talk about the end. When you get to the end, make sure as you go back over your assignment that you have looked at the feedback that's been given to you and you have made any changes, corrections to your document that you want to make. So for instance, um, if you were writing about your adolescent and oops, you forgot to talk about their spiritual development, uh, the grader or myself is going to say, uh, you left this out. So at the end, you need to go back and fix that because you've been given feedback all the way along through the semester. And at the very end, you can look back at all that feedback and you can say, okay, I'm going to fix all that, make sure you have no typos, that everything's as it should be. Because when you submit it the last time, we are going to grade that document. You've not been getting grades yet. You've just been getting feedback. The, it will be graded at the end from top to bottom. You will also need to make your submission with a cover sheet, not just the uh, template that is posted there for you on, on Blackboard, but also submit this assignment with a cover sheet. Um, you will uh, receive essential feedback every time you submit that will be helpful for you as you construct your biography. We've had some fascinating biographies written. Um, and so I'm, I'm looking forward to reading uh, the biographies that you use. This is not an autobiographical assignment, although I know that some people have used uh, pieces of their own life uh, because you're familiar with it. Uh, so uh, it, this must, must not be, um, I won't say, it is not a fictional character in the sense that uh, it's Batman or, you know, a character that you've seen on TV or something like that. It's not that fictional individual. This is an individual that you develop from your own mind and thought. This is not an ind individual that has already lived and you're just, you're just piecing their life together. This is, this is an individual that you come up with. Make sure that you're showing the connections between life stages. And if you use references uh, to your text, then make sure that you've included that too, that, that uh, parenthetical references that say, this is what it says in the text and this is what it what plays has played out in, in, in this person's life. If you have any questions about the developmental biography, please do not hesitate to contact me or the instructor that you're having for this class. Thanks. Thank you.